Good morning and welcome to everyone joining me this morning for this latest Lenten art meditation. And if this is your first time, a particular welcome, uh, a reminder that uh, I'm following the works of art chosen uh, and commented on by the wonderful sister Wendy Beckett in her book, The Art of Lent. And I cannot recommend this book to you highly enough and it's well worth getting hold of not least because the um, versions of the paintings in her book are just so beautifully rendered. We're on to week four of Lent and the theme for this week is joy. A line from scripture from Psalm 30 verse 5. Weeping may linger for the night but joy comes with the morning. And our first image this week focuses on the theme of choosing joy. It is, of course, a, a justly famous painting painted in the 1630s by Peter Paul Rubens. It is the rainbow landscape and I have to say to really get the full impact of this extraordinary work it needs to be seen in the Wallace collection in London where it is on permanent display of course when when galleries are open. It structures a Flemish landscape of the 17th century in well it, I think it has to be said in very positive terms, perhaps even idealised terms. Here we have hay gathering, happy peasants at peace in their rustic landscape. And of course, presiding over it all is the rainbow, that symbol of promise, of God's promise. And it really is a remarkable technical achievement. How does one capture for all time something which is a distortion of light, uh, an optical illusion, if you will, a fleeting moment, and yet Rubens achieves this. But on the edge of this idealised vision, of course, are the dark woods perhaps the dark woods of our imagination. And it is worth asking ourselves if this is a picture of happiness, where do we sit? If this is a picture of human life, are we in the old dark woods? Or are we closer to these idealised peasants? Sister Wendy writes this, Rubens is consum consummately the painter of happiness, but this sunlit, unreflecting sense of well-being, precious though it is, is not joy. Joy is something deeper and in a sense sterner. Although we cannot command it, we choose joy, making a deliberate commitment to happiness, essentially another word for peace. One of the things that I've often meditated on in my own life, and perhaps you've meditated on in yours, is the difference between pleasure and joy. Goodness, we all need a little bit of pleasure, perhaps a little bit more pleasure than many of us have experienced in the past year. Joy is different Joy is about life, not lifestyle. I think it's about gift and relationship. There have been times in my life which have been very far from the idealised representations of the Flemish peasants here delighting in their simple tasks where life has been so tough and yet I have known joy. Because joy 
is of God. There have been times when I have been in the dark woods of the soul. And yet joy has broken through. God's rainbow has reached down and touched me. God's rainbow, both present and utterly absent, has transformed reality. Sister Wendy adds this, Reuben's delight in the positive, the rainbow symbolising hope, and in itself so beautiful, the light glinting on the rich meadows, the benign cattle and their fruitful surroundings. Yet there are dark elements too in the picture if we want to seek them out. The sunless woods are not far away. Reuben Rubens chooses, he emphasises the good things. Joy is independent of choosing. It overwhelms and suffuses us. Certainly, in my experience, it arrives unexpectedly and catches us unawares. We are about our business. We may be in the woods. We may be on the road to somewhere like the carriage driver. We may be absorbed in our business like the women. And the divine joy breaks in. I hope and pray that we are, wherever we are today, open to that breaking forth of God's delight and joy. Thank you for joining me once again for this very short but hopefully reasonably rich, at least, uh, Lenten art and meditation. And I do hope you are able to join me tomorrow morning at 9am for our next Lenten art meditation. Until then, may you know the blessing and the delight of the divine love and joy.